Hey students, we are doing 139 and 140. <clears throat> Go ahead and pause the video. Come on back once you're ready to sight, or after you've sight read it. You can see if we got it right together. All right, 139, let's sight read. One, two, ready. <clears throat> Take a look at that. That's uh, last two measures. We have a quarter note, quarter note, dotted quarter note, and then an eighth note. So think about how you'd write in the numbers underneath to uh, clap it correct. And if you did one, next note is two, next note is three, and the last note is and, you're correct. That's because one, two is the first ones, one and two and. They take up two eighth notes each, so it's one and, then two and, one and, two and. But a dotted quarter note doesn't get two, it gets three, because of the dot. The dot adds half. So if it's one beat, it gets half a beat. Now remember, eighth notes are half a beat, and if you think of about one and a half, it's actually three halves. So if uh, it was a dollar fifty, which is one and a half, and an eighth note is 50 cents, it would be 3.50 cents to get you there. So that's why it's 3 and 4. Takes up three of those. And then the next one is just the and. 3 and 4 and. Clap that. Ready? Go. 3 and 4 and. Again. Go. 3 and 4 and. So that whole last two measures sounds 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. Do that again. Last two measures is 1 and Three and four and one, which ends up sounding. And you're always counting eighth notes in your head. One and two and three and four and one. Play it with me. Last two measures. Two. Brand new. See if you can find another two measures that look similar. If you guess measures three and four, you're correct. It is almost exactly the same. Just the last note's a half note. We have. Which is clapping one and two and three and four and one. All right. Let's play it together. Measure three and four, two, ready. All right, just kind of looking at the parts. Everybody's parts are the same except clarinet is jumping from low up to high. So clarinets, when you're noticing we're playing, I'm kind of staying in the same range, but you're jumping way low and high. That's on purpose because the clarinet has the biggest range. So right now the book is trying to get you playing all the low notes and all the high notes. So that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Everybody go ahead and uh, start reading this down and then we will play it last time together. I think that's all the things and you don't really need me anymore. Go to practicing and then once the, all the mistakes are gone, come back and we'll read it. Go ahead and pause. Whoa. Baritone. Let's play together, everybody. Last one, so all your mistakes are gone. Your practicing is done. It took however long it took. One, two, ready. <gasps> Cool, cool. Let's move on. 140. <clears throat> All right, 140. 
is called More Technique Tracks. I believe it has changed the sync key signature on you. Let's see. Yep. Change the key signature on you, which happens a lot. So even though I forget sometimes, one of the first things you want to do is check out the key signature because it's going to be annoying when you get halfway through and you missed a note that you thought was supposed to be flat, but it's not anymore. You know how it goes. So take a look. Key signature is different. We have some, uh, they're trying to do similar rhythms, but they just flip-flopped it, so it's going to sound different. Okay, let's play. Oh, I'm sorry. Pause it, sight read, come back, and then see if you got it right. All right, now that you've got done sight reading, let's play together. Two, ready, go. <laughs> Cool, so this is extremely similar to the last one, but last two measures, they did quarter, quarter, but then they flip-flop those two notes. It used to be a dotted quarter, then an eighth note. Now it's an eighth note and a dotted quarter. I'm talking about the last two measures, so see if you can find it right now and see what I'm talking about. Quarter, quarter, eighth note, and then a dotted quarter. So they switched it. Quarter, quarter. Used to be a dotted quarter, eighth note, but they switched it. Eighth note, and then quarter. That's going to change what it sounds like. So go ahead and think about what numbers would go in, and then we'll come back, and I'll tell you what it is. So think about what numbers the last two measures are, counting numbers. And if you guessed one, two, third note is three, you're correct, and then the fourth note is and, because an eighth note only takes up one. I'll give you an example. So the first note is a quarter note. It takes up two eighth notes, so it'd be one and. Then the second note is two and, so one and, two and. When we get the third note, it's an eighth note, so it just takes up three. It doesn't take up the and after that. It's just one and, two and, three. But since it only takes up the three, that means the next note is and. So it'd be one and, two and, three and. And if we're right, all the eighth notes should be accounted for. So if we look at the last note that starts on the and of three... And it takes up three, because remember a dotted quarter note takes up three eighth notes instead of two like a quarter note does. It would get and, four, and. So it takes us all the way to the end. So it would be one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Clap that. Go. One, and, two, and, three, and. Ready again. One, and, two, and, three, and. All right. So it ends up sounding like this. Let's play it together. Ready? Go. And then let's do the whole thing to the last two measures. Last two. Go. Um, can you find a couple measures where it's the same? And if you guess measures three and four, you're correct. It's another quarter, quarter, eighth note, and then dotted quarter. Just different notes. So it's still one and two and three and four and. Again, go. One and two and three and four and. Ends up sounding like this. This is measures three and four. <laughs> Let's do one more time through just because we don't see eighth note and then uh, quarter note with a dot. It's usually the other way. It's usually quarter note with a dot and then eighth note, but they're doing the opposite. Eighth note and dotted quarter. So let's play once more through and then I'll have you pause and practice till it's done. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh.
Practice, come back when you are done. No more mistakes. And we'll play together, see if you got it right. Baritone? Can you say baritone? Mm -mm. Alright, no mistakes. You practiced uh, however long it took till you are done. No cheating. One, two, ready. <laughs> couple lessons um keep on practicing and check out our wacky wednesday is the last one i did yesterday was on writing on note flight and writing out songs is extremely fun if you write up something cool that we can play next year we'd love to play it so sign off everybody stay safe <laughs>